I think that most of my life, I didn't think about it. I just played the cello. I mean, I started cello when I was two and a half. We'd just come from South Africa, and they started Suzuki in Edmonton. So to be me being a musician wasn't really being a musician. It was just growing up. That's what one did. <laughs> so I don't remember having, you know, male or female. I, never, I don't remember that feeling as a kid. But the one thing was, you know, when I was later, you know, in college years, I was like, don't ever play like a girl. What does that mean? No, I play like a cellist because I play the cello. Cello's big. It's not a little instrument. I mean, so just play the cello like a cellist. I don't remember anything at any point in my life do I remember being female or male as a musician. It was a musician. Um, except for the snarky remark, don't play like a girl. And then my nickname at Juilliard became Demanda, which still stuck, but it's kind of tongue in cheek. I mean, you know, um, bossy, bossy, but that's, that's good. See, now maybe, you know, people say, oh, we have to, you know, overcompensate and we don't get as much money. We have to be bossier. We have to be even better than the men. Well, I never thought of that. My thing is I have to be really good and well behaved because I'm married to a man who's a famous musician. And so now they're like, oh yeah, well, she's pretty. So, well, she's only doing that because of, you know, I started to, now I have to be perfect, perfect. There's no such thing as perfect. And that's a terrible, terrible thing for women of all ages in society have to be perfect. Well, you can't walk around being photoshopped because it's real. <laughs> and you know, all that thing with magazines and the, but as a musician, um, that, there's that image thing. I'm getting probably off topic, but kind of interesting. So for example, a famous performer with a full head of hair, male, there are a few, and they still have their PR shots from when they had full head of hair and then they walk out on stage and, and everyone's like, mm -hmm. um, that's funny to me because we as women are very sensitive. Like, why are you all using my old picture? That's a terrible picture. I have way better pictures now and they're all photoshopped, <laughs> you know? And then you walk, oh yeah, we recognize her from the photo. Um, the males don't seem to care, um, which is odd to me. That's, the, that's when I see the difference of males and female um, in the publicity aspect. Um, as far as if, if you close your eyes and listen, do you, are you going to know if it's female or male? Well, you better not. I mean, it's an interesting thing where you go to a festival and it's all women composers. So it's like a big club and, you know, it's like we have cello festivals, we have flute festivals, we have women composer festivals. It's interesting, but I, I, don't, I feel a little bit um, creepy about that. I mean, I don't know why we have to have all these little sort of clubs, unless it's really fun. <laughs> But I mean, good music is good music, and I don't, I don't really... When I'm playing a piece and it's a female composer, I'm not thinking, oh, it's a female composer, I have to play differently. No. Orchestra world is different than a solo career world. Personally, I think everyone should play an orchestra for a certain amount of time, so that they're solidified as musicians and are good chamber musicians. If they've never played an orchestra, um, no matter how great they are, you can there's something missing as a well-rounded musician. I don't care if male or female. I just don't think it's gender issued until it gets to the publicity. I mean, the PR kit and the da 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 da. But I'm sorry, Long Long is prettier than me. You know, his hair's way cooler. I mean, Yuja gets in trouble because she wears a short dress. Well, guess what? She's the first person that did it. So be it, so that's her thing. So now she's branded for that and that's her thing and you can say what you like about it. I do speak to young cellists who are auditioning for orchestras because certain silly things, um, when you audition for an orchestra, you have the, you know, we're sitting behind the panel and there's a wall and you don't see. So that's interesting. So why? It's, it's because we're just supposed to judge by our ears. But I do tell the girls, don't wear high heels, wear stocking feet, don't sniff, don't go before you play because you can tell if it's a female sniff or a male sniff. But then after I say that, I'm like, so who cares? But I still think just any equality and it's subliminal, isn't that funny? I don't even like when people, I won't let people carry my cello. Sometimes my violinist husband likes to carry my cello and I feel like, what, 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 I'm not strong enough? I can carry you and my cello and your violin and your viola, no problem. Let me take the suitcases off the belt, seriously. 
because I'm a woman, everyone tries to grab it. No, no, thank you. No, no. I mean, they really try to grab it. I would like maybe more communication between the stage and the audience that especially new audiences that are afraid to come and they're, they don't know what to do. Um, I, I appreciate and respect and honor the fact that we're playing old music with great amounts of um, great, great um, you know, reverence. But uh, how are those people who are afraid? You know, I start them off with the two cellos, who are well-trained classical cellists, who Elton John discovered, and now they're two cellos playing rock, rock shows in stadiums. I'm super proud of them. And that's getting off of what things look like. But the fact that we're so used to um, YouTube instant, you know, with uh, fireworks and dry ice and sets and Lady Gaga and meat dresses and everything crazy, that's that world. And then we're still in this other world, which is elitist. I wish it weren't. We're here to serve the tradition of the music. So if we're wearing black suits, that's a tradition of how music was, you know, but we don't wear powdered wigs anymore. We've evolved from that, so then now we're still stuck in black. Okay, sorry, but we are here to serve the music, and like I said, I don't care if it's female music or male music or who wrote it, or as long as it's good music. And we are supposed to use ourself to portray the music, not the other way around. <laughs>